Hey everybody, I'm Josh for Populi, and sometimes students go to different colleges, and then they want to attend your college? Oh sure, they realize their mistake now. Well, let's say out of the goodness of your heart, you allow them to bring their credits along with them. How can it be done? This video is going to be most helpful for admissions, admissions admin, academic admin, and registrar users. The process divides, so we're gonna start off using the admissions admin role, but then later we'll switch over to the academic admin role to finish up. And we could use either the academic admin or the registrar role to finish this process. By the way, if you wanna go deeper on this feature, we have a great article in the knowledge base linked in the video description. Let's have a look at where this all happens. To add transfer institutions, credits, and degrees to students, you'll go to a student's profile to the admissions tab and click on other education. On that tab, you'll see an option to add a transfer institution, click that. Transfer institutions are either already in the system because students have already attempted to transfer credits from that institution, or quite simply, they are not yet in the system. You can either start typing the name of an existing institution and then select the correct result from the list, or you can input a new institution here. Then you'll fill out the various details here. Field of study is like the student was in the English program at their previous school. Set the time frame for their attendance in this field of study. On the dropdown for visibility, this can be everyone or faculty, staff, advisor. Here's what visible to everyone means. If you set this institution as primary, which you can do once you've added the institution by going to the student's info tab under organizations, clicking the three dots next to the org and clicking make primary. Then anyone, other students in particular, will see that org listed under the student's name on their profile. Can show on transcript. In some situations, this will affect whether or not this field of study is listed on a transcript. However, this toggle works independently from the transfer credits that you add to the organization. We'll get to those in a bit. The point is that unless your transcript is customized to show field of study for transfer institutions, this does not affect you. Okay, one last thing here. If the student had more than one field of study at this institution, you can add that by clicking the plus sign. This would be like they were in the English program for one semester and then switched to biology for the next semester and so on. You can reflect that here. Once you have that all set correctly, you can save. Now you'll see that institution listed there along with the field of study right below it. In order to get our further options, we have to click on that institution. Now we can see the option to add a degree or to add transfer credits. Let's look at adding those credits first. These first two fields are the course number and name as determined by the institution that initially granted them. You might end up mapping these courses to different numbers, different names. This is just what you would see on the transcript from the student's previous school. The credits and hours here, you can use one or the other or both, whatever your school does. And different from those first two fields, you'll input the number that you're accepting. So maybe a course is three credits on the student's previous transcript, but you're accepting it for two credits. So you would input two credits here. Fulfills program requirements here means that this course counts against the total credits that the program requires. It also means that this course counts against requirements in course groups on the degree audit. If you uncheck this box, you'll show the course on the transcript under a section for transfer credits, but it won't show those courses as attempted or earned. So you're acknowledging the student's work, but it doesn't count towards anything academically. Effects GPA gives you the ability to choose how the course grade is going to enter the student's GPA calculation. Anything checked will potentially affect the GPA. Anything unchecked won't. The two sets of grades may look redundant, but they're not. These first two correspond to your basic letter grade scale, A, B, C, D, F, the second to your pass-fail scale. 
Effect standing down here means that this course will count towards the credit thresholds that your institution has set up for standing. So if this is checked, this course moves a student towards becoming a sophomore, junior, senior, what have you. Up over here on the right, the Applies To dropdown determines whether you're going to map this transfer course to a single catalog course or map it to a course group. This ends up affecting the degree audit specifically. You'll use this blank below to search for the correct catalog course and select it from the list. So let's say you have a transcript with English 102 on it like we have here, and you choose to map that course to your school's English 101 course. Anywhere that course might show up on the degree audit as a requirement, this could satisfy it. If you choose to map this to a course group, the transfer course will affect that group generally instead of standing in for a specific course. So if you map a two credit course to a course group that requires 10 credits, this course will satisfy two of those 10 credits. Okay, moving on down here, you can enter a description of the course if you like. You don't have to. This programs dropdown lets you choose the programs to which this course will automatically map. You may remember that programs generally, but not always, correspond to a transcript. So you're typically choosing here on which transcript this transfer credit will show. Let's select one of those. We'll do undergraduate and click add. That's added below. And then we can click on that blank drop down there and choose the correct letter grade. Okay, that's as far as we can go using the admissions admin role. So we'll say so long and we'll pick up with an academic admin user. And at this point, either the academic admin or the registrar roles could complete this task. Okay, let's have a look at status here. So pending shows up here as a status because admissions and admissions admin users will have to leave these credits pending so that they can be vetted and confirmed by an academic admin or registrar user. Of course, rejected means that the course is not approved and is not pending. Now you'll see that once we've set the status to approved, we get some additional options here. So let's have a look at that retake setting dropdown. And we're setting retake in case the student retakes the course to which you're mapping this transfer course. Automatic treats this course according to the retake policy that's established under academic settings. Yes or no lets you manually override your standard retake policy regarding the transfer course. Generally speaking, when you first approve a transfer course, you'll set this to automatic. Later, if you need to change how it works as a retake, you can come back and change it to yes or no. You also have the show on transcript toggle here. If you click this, the course and its credits will appear on the transcript. We also have the is transfer student toggle. If that's selected, the student will be considered a transfer student and they'll be tagged as such. We have more information about what goes into categorizing a student as a transfer student in the linked article in the description. If we needed to, we can go back up here and select the graduate program and click add again, and we would choose a grade for that one. And that's in case this transfer course needs to apply to two different programs. Okay, down here, we have the effective date as well, which refers to the date after which this course would be considered a retake. In the vast majority of cases, you will not need to enter anything in this field, so feel free to ignore it. So now you can see the details of this course here. It's showing as approved, everything looks good. Quick rabbit trail here. If you have the academic admin or registrar role, you'll be able to pull reports on these transfer credits. This is particularly useful if you need to identify where those pending transfer credits are in an overview. We've added an appendix that deals with this and you can skip there now or just keep watching at the end of the video. Real quick, let's look at adding a degree to an institution. Back to the student profile, admissions, other education, and then into the institution. Click add degree on the resulting dialogue. You'll set the correct education level and put the degree name and then any specializations, things like majors or minors. You can then select the correct program or programs and then add them one at a time. Then you can enter the rest of these details when applicable 
and choose whether or not this degree should show on the transcript. Then you'll save. And then this is how that'll show up. We've seen plenty, but as we mentioned, we have a helpful article on this, and you'll find that linked in the description. A great way to keep up with updates and improvements to Populi as a software is via our weekly release notes. Those go out on Friday, and you can follow them in our knowledge base. To do that, when you're logged into Populi, click on Help in the upper right-hand corner, click Search the Knowledge Base, then click Release Notes and Announcements. Click on the heading for Release Notes and click Follow. You'll receive an email when we post release notes there, and that'll keep you on the bleeding edge of Populi features and improvements. Let's look at reporting on transfer credits and specifically finding pending transfer credits. You'll go to Academics, Reporting, Transfer Credits. We end up on this table with the student, the institution, and especially the status. You wanna pull up all of those pending transfer credits. So up in the filter here, you'll click on Choose a Condition, set it to Status, set Status to Is Pending, and then click Add. And then you'll apply the filter. You'll see those pending transfer courses there. You can go to the student, to those credits, and review and adjust them. Or you can set them or some of them all at once. Let's say that I am accepting two out of three of these. On the left, I can uncheck one of the courses over here. And then over on the right, I can click on Action, then select Change Statuses. Then I get to choose the Approve status here and Save. So then those approved credits will be filtered out but if we hop over to the Students tab, we can see those accepted there. I've been Josh for Populi. You've been great. Thanks for watching.